solving system of linear equations using the substitution method. What is solving system of equations using substitution? The method of solving by substitution works by solving one of the equations for one of the variables and then plugging this that number back into the other equation. There are three quick and easy steps. Step number one is to solve for x or y in either equation. Step number two is to plug that number into another equation and then solve. And step number three is to use that number or answer to solve for the other variable. It seems hard, but it's actually easy. So let's look at, at an example. Solve using substitution. We have 2x plus y equals 11 and 7x minus 4y equals negative 14. So the first step what you're going to do is you're going to choose the more simpler and easier equation. So in your opinion, which equation is easier? You just have to choose one and then write it down. To me, I'm going to choose the first one, which is 2x plus y equals 11. It's more simpler and easier to me. Next, what you're going to do is you want to leave y alone. You want to find the value of y. And by doing that, we can subtract negative two by both sides. So two minus two is zero, we can cancel that. And now you do not subtract negative two by 11 because now you're, you have the value of y, which is 11 minus two x, this one right here. The next step is what you're going to do is you're going to take that number, that the value of y, and then you're going to plug it back onto the other equation which is here so it's going to it's going to look like this 7x minus 4 opening bracket 11 minus 2x closing bracket equals negative 14. before you get confused all i did is just plug that number here on y so now what you want to do is multiply negative 4 by 11 and negative 4 by negative 2. So negative four times 11 is negative 44 and negative four times uh, negative two is eight. So now what you're going to do is combine the like terms, which are, which are, which are 70, uh, seven X and eight X and you're going to add them together, which is going to give you the number 15x. And now you're going to add 44 in both sides, as you can see here. So negative 44 plus 44 is zero. We can cancel that. And negative 14 plus 44 is, no, I'm sorry, I'm not plus. You're going to minus it. It's like 44 minus 14. You don't count the positives, which is 30. Now I'll re just have one more step, which is do, uh, to make a fraction and uh, to divide both sides by 15. So 15 divided by 15 is one and it's already there. It is X, so we don't need that. And 30 divided by 15 is two. So now the value of X is two, X equals two. Now we have, we're halfway there. We're actually more than halfway there uh, to solve this equation. Uh, now that we found the value of x, we can plug that number into one of the equations to find the value of y. And as I said, you need to use the simpler and the easier equation in your opinion. So to me, I'm just going to use the first one again because it's more easier, but it's your opinion. So the more easier and simpler the equation is, the more faster you will solve the whole substitution method. So you're just going to plug uh, number two here. So it's going to be two opening bracket two, closing bracket plus y equals 11. So two times two is actually four. And then you're going to write down the rest of the answer, the equation, sorry, normally. So four plus y equals 11. Now what you're going to do, we still want to leave y alone. By doing that, we can subtract four by both sides. So four minus four is zero, we can cancel that. And 11 minus four is seven. Now we found the value of y, which is seven. 
So last thing we have to do is to write the solution as opening bracket x and y closing bracket. This is extremely important. You need to write your solution like this. So we we now know the value of y and x. So the solution is 2 and 7. I really hope you understood this method and thank you.